Ever wonder why your FPS feels smooth one minute and then randomly choppy the next, even when your GPU isn't maxed out? That's not your imagination. NVIDIA drivers install hidden telemetry services, background loggers, and crash trackers that constantly eat CPU cycles and mess with frame times. Most gamers have no clue these even exist, but today I'm showing you how to shut them down for good. We're going deeper than just disabling NVIDIA app. We're going to cut out NVIDIA's hidden bloat at the driver level, clean up registry hooks, and stop background telemetry from stealing performance. If you've ever opened LatencyMon and saw NVLDDKM.sys spiking, or if your frame times feel inconsistent, this guide will literally fix that. Let's dive in. Step one, kill NVIDIA telemetry services. By default, NVIDIA installs a handful of background services when you install their drivers. These services run silently and constantly in the background, pulling hardware, logging activity, and sending usage data. Most of this is unnecessary for the average gamer, but it still uses up resources every time you boot your PC. To disable them, press Win plus R, type services.msc, then hit enter. Now scroll through the list and look for the following NVIDIA services. NVIDIA Display Container LS, NVIDIA Local System Container, NVIDIA Telemetry Container, only on older driver versions, NVIDIA Frame View SDK Service, only useful if you use the GeForce Experience FPS Counter. For each of these, right-click it, choose Properties, and set startup type to disabled. Then hit stop to shut it down immediately. You can leave NVIDIA Display Container LS enabled if you rely on the NVIDIA control panel to adjust GPU settings. Without it, the control panel won't launch. But if you rarely or never use it, go ahead and disable this one too. It won't hurt anything. Disabling these frees up CPU cycles and RAM that were otherwise being used on background processes doing things you probably don't care about. It's a quick way to clean up unnecessary system overhead. Step 2. Delete NVIDIA Crash Dumps and Log Spam Even if you've already disabled telemetry services, NVIDIA's drivers still quietly generate logs and crash dumps in the background. These files are often useless for most users and can slowly build up over time, wasting storage and causing unnecessary disk activity, especially during gaming or heavy workloads. Go to the following locations. Some of these folders might not be there, depending on your driver version. If they're missing, that's fine. Inside each of these folders, delete everything. You don't need any of it. To prevent NVIDIA from recreating the telemetry folder and continuing to dump files in the future, do this. Right-click on the NV Telemetry folder. Go to Properties, Security, Advanced. Find and remove write permissions for System or All Application Packages. This blocks NVIDIA's services from dumping new junk logs in that folder going forward. With this done, you'll stop the constant stream of low-level log writes that can eat up I.O. and trigger random disk usage spikes, especially noticeable on systems with slower drives. Step 3. Registry edits for telemetry and crash tracking. Even with services disabled and log folders wiped, NVIDIA drivers still hook into Windows Event Tracing for Windows, or ETW. This system is used for logging performance data and crash events, and NVIDIA uses it to track GPU activity in the background. It's safe to shut this down with a few registry edits. Press Win plus R, type RegEdit, and hit Enter. Now navigate to this path. If this key doesn't exist, you can skip it. If it does, look for any D-word entries with names like Enable Telemetry, Log Enabled, or anything similar. Set all of them to zero. Next, go to this location. Here, look for values like Telemetry Enabled, Crash Tracking Enabled, or similar entries. 
If you see them, double-click and set the value data to zero. Last step, clean out NVIDIA's error reporting hook. Find the start D word and set it to four. This fully disables that service from starting with Windows, which stops it from registering with ETW at boot. These tweaks help reduce low-level background activity, especially the kind that shows up in tools like LatencyMon or Process Monitor as random spikes. It also frees up some CPU cycles that would otherwise be wasted on telemetry tasks you'll probably never benefit from. Step 4. Disable NVIDIA Scheduled Tasks NVIDIA silently stores shader caches, temp files, and profile data in your app data folders. Over time, these files balloon in size and can cause driver hitching, shader stutters, or even latency spikes when the driver tries to read-write them mid-game. Clearing them out regularly is like giving your GPU a clean slate. Here's how. Open NVIDIA App Data Folders. Press Win plus R, type percent app data percent, and hit Enter. Delete everything inside folders like DX cache, GL cache, NV backend, shader cache. These are temporary caches and will be safely rebuilt when needed. Clear program data cache too. Press Win plus R, type delete all files inside. This is where DirectX shader caches and driver optimization data live, but stale or corrupted cache files here are one of the biggest causes of micro stutter in games. Disable oversized cache rebuilds, an optional advanced tweak. Why this matters? When NVIDIA tries to read or write massive shader cache files, it can stall the driver pipeline for milliseconds, enough to cause visible stutters or delayed input in fast-paced games. By wiping and controlling these caches, you keep your driver lean and responsive. Step 5. Clean up and lock in. The last step is making sure NVIDIA doesn't silently bring everything back during a future driver update. Even if you've cleaned up services, registry keys, and scheduled tasks, a normal driver install can undo your work without telling you. To prevent that, use NV Clean Install or DDU Display Driver Uninstaller before installing or updating any NVIDIA drivers. When using either tool, install only the essentials. Core Display Driver, Physics System Software, only if your games or apps need it. Skip everything else. GeForce Experience, telemetry-related registry keys, HD audio driver, unless you use audio over HDMI, USB Type-C driver, only needed for VR headsets or supported monitors. After each new driver install, go back and double-check the areas you cleaned. Open services.msc and make sure no NVIDIA services have been re-enabled. Revisit the telemetry-related registry keys. Open Task Scheduler again and confirm no new NVIDIA tasks were added. For extra cleanup, you can also run this PowerShell command to catch anything NVIDIA might have added. It'll list all scheduled tasks with names containing NV. If you see any new ones that weren't there before, right-click and disable them like before. This step makes sure all your tweaks stay in place and don't get reversed behind your back during future updates. One clean install now saves you from having to repeat the process every time a new driver drops. And that's it. You've just stripped down NVIDIA's drivers to the essentials. No hidden telemetry, no background loggers, no random scheduled tasks stealing CPU. The result? Lower input latency, smoother frame times, and a system that's focused purely on gaming performance. If you run LatencyMon now, you'll notice those nasty nvldmkm.sys spikes are almost gone. That's real proof that these tweaks work, not placebo. So if this guide helped you, smash that like button, share it with a friend who games on NVIDIA, and drop a comment if you want me to do the exact same deep dive for AMD Radeon users. I'll see you in the next one, where we take back even more hidden performance from Windows.